गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मल्टी टेप टूरिंग मशीन नॉर्मली ए टूरिंग मशीन इज हैविंग ओनली ए सिंगल टेप एंड वी कैन आल्सो हैव ए टूरिंग मशीन विद मल्टीपल टेप्स सी हियर हियर दिस टूरिंग मशीन दिस इज अ टूरिंग मशीन एंड इज हैविंग थ्री टेप्स 1 2 3 and here this is the finite control this is the finite control and that finite control is having three tape cuts that means one is for scanning the first tape another one is scanning the second tape and another one is scanning the third tape okay that is move of a touring machine that means the touring machine will be in some state q and upon receiving something it is switching to another state r This will be in some state, and that state information depends on that means it is reading multiple tapes at the same time. Multiple tapes are read at the same time, and depending on here, as an example here we have three tapes one, two, and three. Here the finite control is reading B. Here it is reading one, and here the third uh, tape is reading Y. That means Uh, if you are taking it as a collection, then B one Y. That means the finite control is in now this in state Q. Move of this is Q. The current state of the finite control is Q. It is in state Q. And suppose that this reading B one Y. That means first tab is reading B. Second, a fine. Second head is reading one, and the third one is reading y. B one y. What will happen? This B is replaced by a. One is replaced by zero, and y is replaced by x. That means this is replaced by a, and this one is replaced by zero. Here it will be zero, and This y is replaced by x. Y is replaced by x. Then and now the moves are first one is moving left means it is moving left means now it's pointing to this location. Next table is moving left. That means here this is moving left means here this is moving left and the third table is moving right. That means here is moving right that is the current state that means depending on the three inputs which are read by the three tape heads each tape head is either moving right or left each tape head is moving either to the right or to the left okay now the state is state is changing from q to r That means if the current inputs are B one and Y, A yeah, that will be replaced by A zero and X, and the moves of the move of the first table is towards the left, second is towards the left, and third is to the right. Okay, so that is about um, move of a multi-tape touring machine, and now we have to prove that. This is representing. This is actually. I'm going to restore the original one. Here, this is again. This is. It is one. And this is. I think this is y. B one y. Now, we are going to show that. we are going to prove that a multi tape touring machine is accepting the same language accepted by a single tape touring machine or if you have every multiple tape touring machine multi tape touring machine has an equal and single tape touring machine that means if you have a multi multi tape touring machine then there exists an equivalent single tape touring machine for that what we are going to do is here we are going to construct a single tape touring machine which is equivalent to this multi tape touring machine that i am going to do here 
this is the single tape touring machine which is equivalent to this multi tape touring machine so i'll show you how that can be done proof is given a multi tape touring machine show how to build a single tape touring machine so here we have three tapes one two and three this all this information has to be stored in the single tape and here what we do is here uh, instead of having three tapes in a single tape we are going to store that that means here the input is a a b a b that is stored is b a a b a b that means here we have a hash and this is the this is the delimiter that means hash and hash are delimiters but unlike this here we have the input this is the input and blank symbols are to the right and blank symbols are to the left but here we don't have any blanks to the left or to the right so i'll show you how that can be implemented or how to solve that problem that means lack of the blank symbols uh, if, if this one wants to move to this place that means here a a b a b touring machine can move uh, after this b also and touring machine can move to the left also that means there is a, a, for a touring machine the turbo disc or the tape is unlimited to both ends but here it is limited delimited by hash and hash and we have to solve that problem anyway the three tape information a a b a b is stored here 1011 is stored here and x y x x that is stored here and these three are delimited by hash that means all the information which are stored in the three tapes those are or uh, those information are is stored in a single tape here and hash is the delimiting symbol and need to store all tapes on a single tape showed on the diagram representation that means here all the information in on all these tapes are stored in a single touring single touring machine or single tape now each tape has a tape head now how to represent it that means here we have three tape heads 1 2 and 3 or 1 2 and 3 three tape heads are there but here in this case we have only a single that means for a single tape touring machine we have only a single uh, tape head instead of having three tape words how do we represent that in a single tape touring machine for that uh, we are going to use a technique that means here we are going to have a system called marking marking means and dots to show where the tape head is here we have three tape heads and here we have a single tape and you have to put a dot here that means in the first tape this dot represents the tape head is here here in the, this is the uh, second tape information and in that the current finite control or current tape head is pointing to this one that is why we have a dot here and for the third type information we have a dot here that means it is pointing to y okay now three tape heads are there and three tape heads are pointing to one is pointing to b the other is pointing to 1 and the other is pointing to y that means that is why we have intentionally put a dot here dot that means three dots are there this dots are for tape head information tape heads are pointing to this um, the locations where these dots are put. okay now need to transform a move in the multi tape touring machine into one or more moves in the single tape touring machine here one move of this touring machine is b 1 y b 1 y that means if the inputs are b 1 and y then that has to be replaced by a 0 x and you, you, you have to move either to the left or to the right simply you can do that here also that means 
B one and Y. You can replace this B by A, and you are moving left means you have to put this dot here. If you are reading one on the second day, then that has to be replaced by zero. And again, move left means the dot you have to put here. And y, you are reading y, and y has to be replaced by x. Y has to be replaced by x and move right. That means dot. Okay. That is move of a touring machine. That means. This move of the touring machine is implemented here, and need to transform a move in the multi-top touring machine into one or more moves next in the single-top touring machine. That means when we are converting a multi-top touring machine to a single-length uh, single-type touring, touring machine, three points or three things we have done. That means all the information which are stored in the three tapes. We are put here, and the delimiters are hash. <coughs> Now, the tabled information, where the tabards are pointing, that locations are uh, marked using dots. And move of move of a multi-top touring machine is implemented here also. Now, once we determine this. Here to simulate a transition from state Q, we must scan the tape to see which symbols are under the tapers. Which symbols are under the tapers? Here, A, zero, and X. That is why we have dot here, dot here, and dot here. Then once we determine this and are ready to make the transition, we must scan across the tape again to update the cells and move the dots. Here. In this case, actually, you are moving the tab cards. While in the single tab touring machine, you are moving the dots. Here, you are moving the tab cards. Here, you are moving the dots. Now, whenever on that moves of the right end, we must shift our tab so that we can insert a blank symbol. For example, suppose that here, after this X. After whenever when you are processing this multi-tap touring machine, here suppose that uh, after some time, here you want to put an extra zero here. Here you want to put an extra zero here. That means here blanks are to the right, and you are going to modify this blank, and you have to make it a zero. But here one zero one zero uh, one one. Here we don't have any working space for. Storing this zero. For that, what you are going to do is you are going to shift all these contents to the right. Shift all the contents to the right so that you have to be, you will make a room for uh, this finite control to update this zero. That means here zero hash and x. That means you are pushing everything to the right so that uh, you are, you are making room for. Uh, or you are making working space for this finite control to update the data. That means there is no size limitation. If you want data to be written to the right, you have to shift or you have to move of the contents to the right to or shifting all this to the right. Okay. You can make uh, suppose that here you want a blank space. What you are going to do is you will shift this to the left, and uh, you are making room for that. Okay. Whenever one had moves of the right end, we must shift our tape so that we can insert a blank symbol. So that is all about multi-tape touring machine. A multi-tape touring machine is equivalent to a single to a single tape touring machine, a universal touring machine. Universal Touring Machine is actually this is the mathematical model of a computer. This is computer. There is some difference exists between computer and touring machine. Uh, Universal Touring Machine that I will discuss later. Anyway, this is a touring machine for all touring machines. This is a touring machine for all touring machine means. 
Suppose that you have a Turing machine M. This is a Turing machine M. And this is M and if you have an input W, it will either accept, reject, it will either accept or reject or it may loop. That means for some input it is accepting. That means a Turing machine is accepting that language and for some other uh, W, some other inputs it will reject it. That means it will not accept it and for some other inputs neither rejects nor accepts. That means that will be in a loop and uh, in, in that case that Turing machine will not halt. That is halting problem of Turing machine. That means when you are accepting W, it will accept it. That means there is a signal uh, from that means Turing machine is accepting and Turing machine is rejecting some string and for certain strings or for certain inputs, the Turing machine neither accepts nor rejects. In that case, that will be in a loop. That means the Turing machine cannot halt. That is halting problem of a Turing machine. And here, this Turing machine, Turing machine is MW, it's a pair. That means you have a Turing machine and an input to that Turing machine and an input to that Turing machine, where M is a Turing machine and M accepts W. That means here A of Turing machine means here this is the universal language. Universal language is a set of Turing machines and that means it's a pair to a Turing machine and an input. Turing machine and an input can have any number of Turing machines and uh, for each Turing machine you have an input that means uh, that can be simulated. That means here uh, simply speaking a Turing machine represents an algorithm. A Turing machine represents an algorithm and Suppose that you are writing a program, then that program is actually it's a Turing machine. That's a mathematical model of mathematical model of a program. Mathematical model of a program, and you are uh, you are you are in a program in a high level language. It is converting or it is processing your input and uh, it will produce an output. If your program is error free, then it will process it. Either it is accepting or rejecting, and that pro uh, that program will terminate. Okay, for some programs, it neither uh, accepts nor rejects means that will be in a loop. You can have a, an infinite loop, and in that case, that algorithm cannot halt. If such an algorithm you have written, then that will be in a loop. That means if you have written a very a very 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 well defined algorithm. And if I have written a program for that, that is either accepting or rejecting. And if your program is erroneous, then uh, that might be in a loop. There are cases that might be in a loop. That, that means a program which is written in a high level language or low level language can be, can accept, reject or loop. And uh, the mathematical model of an algorithm is a Turing machine and we are providing an input to that and that will accept it. Accept reject of loop. That means the universal Turing machine is a simulator for all these algorithms. That means or in a computer you can run multiple programs. Each program is also each program is a Turing machine. Each program you have to consider each program or each algorithm as a Turing machine, and your Turing machine is your computer, and that computer can simulate all these Turing machines for these inputs. That means if you have an algorithm, then corresponding to that an input is there. That means for each program is processing some input. And that is M and W. This is concerned this is a program and this is the input to that program and these are the outputs from the program after processing that. So MW means this is an algorithm and its input.
In other words, a Turing machine and its input. Okay. And now, in your universal Turing machine, you, know, you can execute any program. That means, if you have a computer, the computer is able to simulate all the Turing machine. It is able to simulate all the Turing machine. That is why it is called a universal Turing machine. That means, all uh, Turing machines, Turing machines can be simulated using your universal Turing machine. So, universal Turing machine is the computer. Universal Turing machine is, is having finite control, tape, etc. etc. Uh, actually, in your computer, uh, the tape of Universal Turing machine, this is the tape. Tape here, information is stored. Actually, this is the memory of the computer. Memory of the computer. And unlike a Turing machine, this Turing machine is having uh, yeah, an infinite tape, an infinite tape, but here in the case of a computer, unlimited memory is not, uh, not, is not there, unlimited memory provision is not there, you cannot have that, so unlimited memory is not there in computer, whereas uh, as per our Turing machine definition, we have infinite tape. So, infinite memory is no provision for infinite memory. That is the only difference between a computer and it, its mathematical model. So, universal Turing machine represents a physical computer. That means the mathematical model of a physical computer is your universal Turing machine. And what is the difference between this? Here in that, in this case, infinite tape is provided, but there is no provision for infinite memory uh, in the case of computer. Okay, that's all about Turing machine. Thank you.